In the previous class, we have learned about different techniques of writing scripts. We have learned about elements which can be included in writing scripts. And we have also learned about how to create a script for yourself. In this class, we are going to talk about planning and producing a project at the same time with a specific focus on writing grant application. As a visual journalist, you would often find, or as a photographer, you would often find that you need to approach different NGOs or you might have different projects for which you need funding and therefore you will need to write grants application. And it's not just grant application, even for you to showcase a, pro your, uh, showcase a project or if you're embarking on something which you think stands out and if you want to reach a large audience, so if you're approaching agencies or large media houses, it's very important to showcase your project in a very clear and precise way. So it's not always about granting, it can be for commissions, it can be uh, you are trying to collaborate with a certain agency or with a certain organizations to work with a similar project. So for many different reasons, you will need to write applications in a very proper formal format. So as a journalist or as a photographer, we are not often quite uh, accustomed with these kind of writing styles. So that's something that we are going to talk about in this class. In order to plan a project, you need to identify a few different things. So you need to ask yourself, what do you want to achieve from a certain project? What are your goals? You need to identify them because often these are the things that you will have to present to someone else, be it an NGO, be it a non or be it a media house, or be it a person who is already probably an experienced photographer and you are looking for future collaboration opportunities. So it can be done in many different ways, but these are the few things that you first, at the very first moment, will need to clarify what your project is about, what this project wants to achieve, what impact it can create on society or it can create on general public or if you have a clear uh, focus on certain uh, subjects that it, if it's not socially driven then it might have some other purpose that you want it might serve. So you also need to identify that because whenever you're trying to collaborate or whenever you are trying to fund your project people need to know why they should fund the project. So this question will basically address the why in their funding because they would not just fund any projects, they need to know why should they do it and how is that going to help them, not just uh, as an organization but also as how is that going to help them to collaborate with you and how you can contribute to their organizational goals. So it's very important to de do a bit of research on the organizations or on the persons or on the agencies that you want to fund your project or you want to collaborate with because you need to know and identify their organizational goals and then you can compare and also in some cases align your objectives with their objectives that will create more opportunities of collaboration because you already have done your research you know what they do you know what I, their goals are and then if you already align your goals with them then you already know if your goals can be aligned or if your goals have the potential to uh, to merge in in many cases so these are the first things that you need to think about whenever you are trying to plan your project because it's not just about you showcasing yourself it's also about other people getting to know your project and why should they even uh, consider you as a potential partner. So you are already kind of preparing yourself as a partner. So as you develop your own projects, as you develop your own proposals, it's also important to think from a partner's perspective. So for example, who would you partner with? If you put yourself in their position, then things will start to become more clear for you because then you will know what people usually would look in a partner to work with. 
for many different purposes. Now, moving on to the grant application, we first need to know what the purpose of a grant and what a grant application is usually about. So a grant application or a proposal is a direct and clear written document which is being sent to a particular organization or an agency in order to persuade them to provide support for your own project. Now, this will involve two different things. So the first thing is that you have a fully considered plan to advance a certain project or to advance a certain goal which has social importance. So it means you need to have a project which is important or you need to make it important or socially adaptable in, in case uh, of a so in case of a socially responsible project it's easier to do but you need to identify how your project can contribute to the existing problems or how it can address existing problems or how it can solve existing problems or how it can generally contribute to the society. That's one aspect that you always need to keep in mind whenever you are trying to plan a project and whenever you are writing your grant application that's also something that you want to consider because you have to address this aspect in your application. And the second thing is that you are capable and responsible enough to realize this plan. So you are pre presenting a plan now through your application or through your presentation you need to convince your audience that you are capable of realizing this plan. So whenever you are presenting a project, it can be over ambitious in many cases, but don't sound, don't create a project which does not really uh, align with your existing capacities because that will not create a good impression because you should keep your goals high at the same time it needs to be kept practical so that would require also uh, your own skills assessment so a self-assessment of your skills and your capacities now uh, whenever we are trying to embark on a project we often kind of try to push ourselves which is important and that's something you should always do but at the same time whenever you are trying to convince an organization to fund your project, it's very important for them to understand what your current capacities are and with your current capacities or skills, how you can contribute to their organization and how it can benefit them. So that's something that you would often come across and that's what they're looking for. So these are the two main points that you also should keep in mind. Now, grant applications have many different formats, but usually what would follow is whenever you are writing a grant proposal, before that you will need to submit a letter of proposal, which means it's something which is being done before the grant application. So you have an extensive grant application, but before that when you are requesting to a company to submit your grant application, you will need to submit another letter and that letter will have to describe the key aspects of your project in mostly in two pages. That's the most it can get. So you have a very short space to just summarize what your project is and at the same time you are trying to convince them. So here you have at least two different types of applications. So first is this letter of proposal which is being sent before the grant application and then you have the grant application which extensively describes your project and after that if there is a future possibility of a collaboration then in some cases you might even need to give a presentation about your project to your potential funders. So that's something that follows afterwards but before that you have two applications that you need to consider. So the key a thing is to always be prepared. So for potential funding opportunities you need to do your research. As I have said before, you always need to know the objectives that the grant makers have and whether those objectives align with your objectives because that might sometimes generate a possible clash of interests. So to avoid that, 
First, you need to do your own research. So whenever there is a proposal for grant application, read carefully and closely what the objectives of the grant makers are and what they want in a possible uh, photographer or a journalist who they want to fund their projects and then you also need to carefully examine the company's website. So it's going to require an intense research and that is going to help you to tailor your application in terms of the grant makers expectations. In order to do that, as I have just mentioned, you can look for successful grant applications. They're in many cases available online. So just go through a couple of applications and see the kind of things that they're talking about, the kind of format they're using, the kind of language that is being used and how that use of language has ultimately resulted in a successful grant application. So that can be a very good reference point for you to consider whenever you would start right for your grant proposal. Another thing to consider is just don't keep sending fundraising applications everywhere. You need to narrow down your selection process. So you need to select certain organizations and you also need to pre-plan. So for example, if you're going to apply next year, you need to start preparing from this year and you need to know about the grant makers. So maybe you have identified three or four possible grant makers for which you are going to apply. So for each four organizations, you need to have four different grant applications. Do not just duplicate your application. Tailor your application in terms of the references that the grant makers are giving, in terms of their organizational objectives, in terms of their expectations from a possible project. So organizations would often have different interests. Some are interested in political events, some are interested in cultural events, maybe some are interested in social events. So you just can't simply send off one single application to all organizations because that's not going to work and it would ultimately result in a failure. So for an effective and successful grant application, these are just a few things that you should consider. For individual projects, it's much, it, it's much easier, but if you are trying to write grant application on behalf of an organization, then there are a few things that you might need to consider. So for individualized projects, it's very easy because you already know about yourself, you know more or less of what you are trying to do and you are, since you are trying to possibly collaborate with a particular organization, it's easier for them to incorporate an individual rather than an organization, even though sometimes an organization comes with additional benefits. So for organizational grant applications, it would follow a bit of a different things because you are presenting an organization. So you also need to uh, kind of do a bit of research on your own organization on behalf of which you are writing the grant proposal. And you need to also present the credibility of your organization as a possible partner. So that representation becomes crucial in this respect. Even though organizational project proposals and individual project proposals would require two different forms of grant applications, their key elements would remain the same. Now, what are some of the key elements of a grant proposal that you will need to incorporate in your application? First is the summary. The summary should include a short overview of your entire project and it's also going to include the fund that you are asking for through the grants. So just what your project is about and the required funding. That would be the key elements of, uh, of the summary. Then the second part would be the introduction to the applicant which is going to be you or if you are applying for an organization then it's going to be your organization's profile. So just a general introduction of yourself, what you are doing or if you are writing for an organization then what your organization usually does, just an introduction. The next part of your application is the introduction to the applicant which is going to be you if you are applying for yourself 
or if you're applying for your organization then it's going to be your organization now introduction to the applica applicant uh, section should include your own profile or your organization's profile your history the successes you have had or the successes that your organization has had these things should be included in the introduction just to give a general idea about your yourself and your organization to the grant maker at the same time you would want to showcase yourself or your organization in a way where you have had previous successes so just just that would add a bit more credibility to your application so the introduction section is also going to tell your grant makers about why you fit the project and that's going to convince them the next section is the need or the problem so in this section you will have to talk about who is going to benefit from this project and how they are going to benefit from it so that will establish the need for the project so the grant maker will have a very clear idea why this project is needed and if they are convinced with the need for the project that means they are going to get convinced for the funding as well and a good thing here to do is to incorporate your previous successes so if you already have beneficiaries of your organization's projects or of your organization it's a good thing to incorporate that in this section because it's going to give a bit more idea about yourself and your organization's success and it's likely to convince the grant makers even more. The next thing is the objectives and outcomes. So what are your objectives from these projects and how do you think, what, what possible outcomes can there be from this project? That's the things you are going to mention in this section. Then you have the project plan and the capacity so for project plan it's just a general description of how you're going to execute the project in the capacity section you need to write what your current capac capabilities are so if you're uh, writing for an organization then it's important to identify what capacities you have maybe some technologies that you can provide which is not available in the market or to other organizations and if you have any specific uh, exceptional skills as a person or as a photographer or as a journalist this is where, it, where you would want to showcase them in this section in your application then you should have an evaluation plan so you have your project how you are going to evaluate that the objectives and the outcomes of your projects are being met so what is going to be your evaluation plan that is what you will have to write in this section of the application then you have the budget section where you would want to explain why this amount of money is needed and identify your possible uh, sections where you, of expenses so a very clear and detailed idea about what possible expenses you will be needed and keep it realistic don't make it sound a bit uh, too much just mention practical examples of expenses and just a general estimation so that would be included in the budget section and then in the last section you can mention about the sustained impact so what can be the long-term impacts of this project that is something that you might want to include at the end of your application so combining all these elements it would just create a more effective grant proposal because your grant maker now has a clear idea about you they have the summary of the project they have the introduction they know about the budget they know about how it's going to be spent they know what impacts it's going to create and they also know that you have your own assessment process for the implementation of this project so all these key elements are going to strengthen your application and they increase the chance of being successful in terms of your application even more so that is what we are going to do in this class so for an, an assessment now identifying all these key elements of the grant application just go online find a successful example of a grant application and then try to identify how these elements have been incorporated in the grant application so that's going to be the first exercise and in the second exercise once you have done it now keeping all these sections in mind try to generate 
our own project, your own project proposal by incorporating all these elements. So you will have all these sections incorporated in your application. Now you already have an example that you have downloaded from online and you already have identified those elements and you already know how they have incorporated all these elements in their application and then try to generate your own application and that is going to help you to write better project proposals when you would be trying to apply for a grants proposal probably next time whenever you already have planned and produced a project for yourself or your organization. In the next class we are going to summarize what we have done throughout this module in our six sessions. It's just going to be a recap and a general summary of this whole module. So we'll see you in the next class.